Now, with more than 23,000 positive cases, the coronavirus has taken hold of the Western Cape. Uh, healthcare workers are putting their lives on the line as uh, they are on the front line of this pandemic. Tigerberg Hospital, the province's largest healthcare facility, has reported at least 122 nurses that have been infected. The facility's eight dedicated COVID-19 wings are taking strain as uh, cases continue to rise. And amid widespread anxiety and mounting pressure, our reporter Natalie Malchas brings us this exclusive look from a COVID-19 ward in Tigerberg Hospital. Just a few weeks after celebrating 14 years of service at Tigerberg Hospital, Sister Leandre Pedro joined a team of specialist nurses in the hospital's second COVID-19 ward. She's here to help battle an outbreak that was going to test all she's ever learned on the job. I was very angry. The angry is more over um, on that stage when I think COVID-19 is is dodelijk. So as you get it, you do it. The other thing was for me, as I come back. En ik ga naar huis toe, wat van mijn man en mijn zin. Ik kan die virus naar huis toe nemen. Maar omdat dat tegenberg ook voor ons, um, voor je, um, voor ons, um, op een cursus laat gaan, het, alle noemen die linkness cursus, hoe om patiënten met infecties en isolaties te plegen, dat het al dat makkelijker gemaakt om dan die virus of die patiënten met die virus te hanteren. Ward A10 is near capacity with 12 patients. Some with underlying conditions awaiting their results. Sister Pedro, who's cut her teeth in infectious disease treatment, says she's had to rethink how she cares for patients in the time of COVID-19. Maar ons moet aan ons patiënten raak. Dat daar is hier een ander manier. Daar is dat je wat je aan je patiënten moet raak. En dat is wanneer je um, PPE en kom je hand die gene. Um, dat is het belangrijkste daarna. After long hours on shift in the eye of the COVID-19 storm, Sister Pedro is careful to not take her work home. She credits her strong and a close-knit team of colleagues for keeping cool heads and spirits up during crisis time. Natalie Malchas, Cape Town.